I'm excited to have you to bring spiritual tips to you, to bring the word of God to you the way it is, without adding, without removing, without reducing, without extracting, without bending it, just bringing it the way it is to you. When you say you are a Christian, it means you're Christ-like. You act like Christ, you behave like Christ. When you are a Christian, when you are Christ-like, you don't just carry the form, you don't just carry the name, the identity, you become who you say you are. You become that person you say you are. You become like Christ. You behave like Christ, even though, even if you cannot be perfect, you cannot be 100% perfect, at least you should try to be who God wants you to be. You should try to do the things that God says we should do. You are not doing it for anyone, you're doing it for your salvation. By the way, on the last day, you will give account of yourself. On the last day, when I mean on the last day, I mean on the final day, on the judgment day, you are the one that we stand and explain to God these things you have done, why you did them, what you represented here on earth. These days people say they are Christians, but they do weird things, they do crazy things. I would like you to know that praying result is witchcraft. Praying result can destroy you, it will destroy your life. Anything you did not see Jesus Christ do, do not do it. Some of you are so tied to your tradition, that is why you pray with salt. The reason why I always talk about this praying with salt is because there are a lot of people that have been destroyed because of these kind of practices. Okay, and a lot of people who have shared their testimonies with me, thank you for talking about this. When you spoke about this, I stopped doing this. I will keep on talking about it until I stop seeing them on Facebook, until I stop seeing these practices on social media done by Christians, I won't stop talking about it, okay? The manner at which people pray resort these days is becoming um, demonic, it's becoming like witchcraft activities. That is why I'm going to refer the art of praying resort as witchcraft, okay? Jesus Christ never prayed resort. Jesus Christ never said bury salt, bury eggs, bury these things. Jesus Christ never said so. Have you seen a traditional ruler? Just like I said, some of you, your tradition permits this thing. This is the reason why you break out of tradition when you are in Christ. When you are in Christ, you have nothing to do with tradition. Your tradition is gone, okay? Now you're living the life of Christ. And if you watch it, when you want to live fully a Christ life, you're going to have troubles with your tradition. Don't forget, the Bible says that on the last days, people will bring all sorts of things. Many deceivers will come as though they are of God. And that is what is happening now. A lot of people coming in different ways, hiding under Christianity to bring evil practices. This is something you should look out for. Look at me. If you pray with salt, or you do these traditional practices, you do these diabolic practices covered up in religion covered up in uh, christianity that is not the way of christ god did not say you should bury egg god did not say you should pray with salt just just pray to god pray to god okay do you know god's intention is that man dominates the earth okay so this salt you are using to pray no that is not what god wants you to do with salt god wants you to use salt to cook to neutralize things not to pray with them and that was what elisha did in the bible elisha just neutralized the water with salt doesn't mean that you should pray with salt elisha prayed to god not with salt whatever christ did not teach you don't do it whatever christ did not teach you do not do it forget about people who are doing things for fame for facebook likes for youtube likes by the way uh, my message to those of you who do these things for the views and the likes don't forget that judgment is coming and you're going to stand to give account of these things you're going to stand to explain why you are teaching people these things to people who are not really sure of 
what to do this is why i'm here for you to let you know that stop these practices when you need something you desire something just kneel to god and pray when you desire something just pray to god pray to god by faith okay you have to have faith forget about these practices forget about them and do not forget that God sees everything that happens in the universe these are part of the things that God says we should expect in the end time that is why it's just becoming rampant there are a lot of people who are just pretending under Christianity but really they are not Christ-like really they are diabolic so really watch out for those people watch out for these people who are hiding under christianity to bring demonic practices in conclusion i will say that praying with sword will destroy your life it will take you far away from god it's going to attract demonic presence into your life praying with salt is literally witchcraft there are a lot of diabolic advice being given to you by these um people who come up with these sort prayers and it is kind of witchcraft so know this today the bible says that before rapture takes place the word of god is going to spread in every corner every street in every part of the world so nobody's going to say oh my oh lord i did not know i did not hear there is just some way that the word of god will reach you there is a way that you must hear it so now that you're hearing this you cannot tell god that you did not hear it this is the joy i have when i bring things like this to you when i bring this revelation to you so that you will know because the manner these practices are going around and around you, you see the people who are following them you see that they are christians but they don't really know what to do they are, they are i don't know i think it's a tradition or something but now that you're hearing this today know that praying result is bad it's demonic it is not christ-like it is not the way of christ it's not your salt the everything all those um when I mean the everything, the pepe, the alligator, the, the alligator pepe, the colon. Recently, I saw I just the algorithm. Maybe because I talk against these things, or maybe because God wants me to talk about this. I came across a video, and the lady was saying she should drink with the cola water for to help to help wealth, to help riches, and she's hiding on that Christianity. So when you're fooling people, when you're fooling people like that, you will be led astray you go astray so this is why i come to you today do not take part in practices like this okay before i forget if you're yet to subscribe to this channel it is just simple click on the subscribe button turn on your notification bell i believe that you will never ever take part in practices like praying with salt or that diabolic practices if you support me on this topic i know you do just drop a comment on the comment section and i'll be right there with you stay blessed